We are now into the second half of Paris Season 1. I I've got a feeling there won't be a Season 2 over here. As long as one of us ain't an impimpy, it's a win all round, isn't it? We ain't an impimpy, we ain't a rat, we ain't a snitch. We're just watching Gus Fring slowly die in front of our eyes. I don't know, watching this show makes me feel like a snitch. It's just not very good. And you know what? I don't think it's getting better. I you know what I think the problem is for me, though. There's a lot happening. I just do not care. I can't say there's nothing happening. I think with some shows it's boring. It's bland. But I think they've actually thrown a lot of things together. It's just not working. I think the pacing's okay. I mean, I do think there's enough things happening. I, I don't think it's too slow. I don't think it's too fast. Uh, we have the characters being put into risky situations where, you know, their life could be at threat. Their life could be at danger. But I, I just don't think it's that good of a show. Yeah. And I think that's a problem. The characters, I'm just not invested in. When we do get a seven-year flashback to kick off the episode, we see how Anton and Grey met each other. Well, I say met each other, it was like the last time they spoke before today. Seven years, I think it went back to 2016. It was talking about how Hillary Clinton had a lead over Donald Trump. How did that go? Ha, ha, ha. Not very well. Not very good there. But no, this episode was essentially... I mean, we can say a lot happened, but essentially we picked up where we left off last week uh, we had Grey being given this ultimatum that he needs to kill Horse or his family dies. He then sets out to try and kill Horse. Grey's family's been imprisoned in their own home. And like after a 30 minute interrogation, Grey manages to escape Horse's house, Ray Colin. And Grey's family takes care of the, the bad guys that were keeping them held hostage. And that's that's essentially it. Yeah. No, I hate... Worst no. episode of the show so far for me. Really? Right. I'd probably say it was one of the better ones. There's only been four, like, so... But no, I think the problem is, right, I don't think we've really seen Grey that much in action, or even Colin, right? And, like, the, the, the two to get their hands dirty is his wife and daughter who don't really know the life. Also, this show was made out as if, like, Grey was a driver. You know, we thought, oh, this guy has got some serious skills. I was expecting, I don't know what, I was expecting Grey to start working for Horse and to, like, be the getaway driver and, you know, for us to actually get some cool, like, I don't know, chase scenes or, or missions or... I mean, uh, what, have we, what have we really got? It's more his history rather than what's he doing. And, again, I don't really... I don't know what the future holds. I mean, we we seen the preview for next week. I thought it, I thought it was going to have something a bit like I don't know, early kind of, not um, Fast and Furious vibes. Maybe not exactly like that, but I, I thought what I thought it was going to be something. I wish like that. it was early Fast and Furious. Well, is it not going to appear? Maybe not. Maybe not. But uh, it's it, it's Fucking all Walker certainly. It's also kind of predictable, right? Even though we're four episodes in. He just—he was never going to kill horse. Why not? Why not try something different? Why not actually have him kill the entire like horse and his brother and his sister? Why not actually just go balls to the wall and fucking wipe out an entire group like that? Especially if it was only one season. But anyway, yeah. So um, Gray gets there. Horse is still not doing too great. They are interrogating the guy that tried to kill horse. Horse wants information. How did they know where they were going to be? Um, horse's brother. Thinks that Grey is a snitch, but Grey's like, he's not like that, he wouldn't do that. And they kind of just determine, well, if it's not you, Grey, it must be Colin. And the guy they're interrogating also says it's Colin. So Colin then is kind of painted as a snitch. Colin it gets asked to come down by Grey. He comes down, uh, he then gets interrogated himself. Horse kills the, the previous man that he was interrogating. And then I guess Grey comes up with some sort of plan that he is going to actually blame. Colin and he's going to trick Horse into handing over the machete so that he can kill Colin because he believes that Colin has betrayed him but this is all part of Grey's plan just to try and get the machete away from Horse so at this point he'd sent everybody else into the kitchen so he does that Grey then holds Horse hostage with the machete and then like in some weird way that just doesn't make any sense Grey and Colin just walk out without the weapon and all horses, people just 
watch them walk out when they could have easily grabbed them or subdued them or something. It's not like they left with the machete up the horse's neck, you know, and they had to let them leave. They just walked out there. Yeah. And, and horse's crew let them. Then back at the house, we have Gray's wife just manages to kill both the guys that were holding her and her daughter hostage. It's, it's a bit far-fetched, like this woman that didn't really know anything about Gray's you know, previous life. Well, it's not really, isn't, just isn't a fighter or capable in that line of work, or that lifestyle, and yet she just managed to like turn the table on these two guys who were armed both with guns, and she kills them with crowbars. I mean, fuck. Yeah, but I think it's, like, we don't see Gray or Colin do anything like this, so and, and why it, the hell does she get like yeah, first Yeah, it, 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 it just seemed a wee bit out of character. That yeah. She just literally just killed this guy, caved his head in with a crowbar, bloodied him. Yeah, I didn't dig it. And then, and then you've got Grey, who's leaving. But Grey was told that he had to kill Horse for his family to family to survive. And Grey just leaves Horse alive. So did, what was Grey's plan? Then he just returns up. But I, I guess he did get the phone call for his wife. Saying yeah, but so he doesn't think there's going to be any re- oh, so retaliation. The, no, oh, that's it then. It's, Tell you what, your wife managed to kill two of my guys, so we'll just sweep this under the carpet. Two of my guys are dead. You didn't kill a horse, but it's all right. We'll let it go. I mean, what? Yeah, and then the episode ends with horse coming face to face with Anton. I'm coming face to face with death watching this. I mean, it's just not good. Anton sounds like a black name. It does, doesn't it? Like, Antonio's different, but Anton sounds Anton black. Anton from Dexter, he's black. Anton. Anyway, this is the only white guy in the show apart from Colin, and he's not very interesting. No, he's not, but uh, they're all painted in a bad light. Aye, well, this show's painted in a bad light. I think it's time to rate it. I'm going to give it a four. I'm go- yeah. yeah, I'll give it a four. But I think that's one of the higher ratings we've given it, though. Jesus Christ. And you said it's the worst episode, so fucking make your mind up. Um, all right, maybe it's not the worst episode, but it wasn't any better than what we've previously seen, in my opinion. Fair enough, right, that's it guys, episode 5, I mean, we'll give a quick wee talk about the preview, I mean, it just, they look like they want to leave the country, and I think when you're talking like that, five episodes in this series, it, like, has it been confirmed for season 2? You said on Rotten Tomatoes, it's the worst show ever? Yeah, so I know, Rotten Tomatoes are giving this a really poor rating, it's not interesting, um, I can't seem to get any ratings for the show either, so I don't know if the ratings are so poor that they're not being showed, or sometimes if the ratings suck that much, they don't actually generate a rating because there's not enough people watching it. As weird as that sounds, yeah. And I don't know if that is the case with Paris. We'll have to wait and see. And I think once you slip up, once you go under a hundred k, it's you know that's when they kind of stop recognizing numbers. So that would be bad. Yeah, for the impimpe. That would be bad. Anyway, guys, uh, catching the next one. Till next time. Peace.